to the customer of the month, and that Mrs. Olaide, uh, uh, yes, uh, short term, who's actually telling us uh, uh, how she actually uh, came across, uh, you know, Credit Pro. And uh, of course, you won't tell us, uh, uh, won't, won't take that again. How did you come across uh, Credit Pro? Okay, I came across Credit Pro about eight years ago. When then it wasn't Credit Pro, so that was at the time I was transiting. Are you really? Take off that. So it was a great book. What? No, then? no, that was. <laughs> <laughs> so an heritage. Oh my goodness. So it's it's, it's actually yeah. metamorphosized. Yes, yes. Okay, that's great. So um, I was transiting from paid employment into um, being an entrepreneur, and um, I knew that I had some. After doing my SWOT analysis, I knew that I had some weaknesses that I needed to work on, mm -hmm. and. Uh, with the training that I received from them, I was better prepared to go into um, business on my own. And of course, we also want that we might not get people to support our businesses, but there was a way we could manage uh, to do it, pending the time when we become the toast of all the lending um, lending uh, institutions. And so, and that's what we've been doing. So when Credit Pro now eventually of course, um, you know that <laughs> we're one of the people that also. Yes, Pioneer. Pioneer. Yeah, Pioneer. Uh, well, I Pioneer would say customers. Pioneer. I came in later. <laughs> yeah, but one of the Pioneer so, of course, customers. So, definitely, yes. Yeah. So, there was an existing relationship. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm happy that the training that I got okay, has also helped me because prior to this time, we didn't really have any loan from the bank. But it was the. We're managing the supplier credits. And then also turning over whatever we had. So the cycles, we had to understand the cycles and things mm -hmm. like that. So help us. And that has, that has been what has been helping us till now that we're able to qualify for loan for credit pro. Okay. All right, now, you, 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 you said you're with the pharmaceuticals. You want to tell us some of the challenges that you are actually facing in the pharmaceutical industry. And, of course, uh, you want to tell us uh, what's, your, what's your advice to the public who are listening right now? Well, in the pharmaceutical sector, it's a bit uh, peculiar, <laughs> being that uh, for us we are wholesalers, so we don't we don't sell to end users. We supply hospitals and pharmacy. And one of the things that we also saw is that um, that we have noticed that most of our customers, because it's a business to business kind of relationship, most of them equally don't have access to finance, you know, funds. So it it hampers the way the business can actually grow and uh, so when you tend to give them goods on credit sometimes you may go bad okay and uh, so that is we are we are helping to show that some of the the risk that should have been borne by other uh, financial institutions you know we are approaching the financial institution. somebody else should also do that it shouldn't be the money that we we get it that we should be using to finance other people's businesses but that's what we have seen Wow. And then the lack of um, credit history that is accessible to our sector, because I know that there is a credit uh, bureau, but mostly it's the financial institutions that have access to that. Other sectors, like the pharmaceutical sector, really does not have much of an access to that for you to be able to assess the credit profile of a would-be customer. So that is also a challenge because if you had that kind of uh, information, perhaps it will help to shape the decisions that you make on who to sell to and who not to sell to. Okay. All right. Now, um, the question that goes to the CEO. Now, I want, I want to find out now. Uh, like, yeah, I know she's she's right now the customer of the month. Now, is it possible for somebody to become customer of the month? Over and over, like this month, this month, this month, or like, oh, you don't know, no, no, leave. I'm going for it. So, you know, <laughs> right, you know, we're not going to take it easy. Like, yeah, just go around. <laughs> okay, but the good thing is that at the end of the year, we actually plan, you know, like a party thing okay. for all customers of the month, you know, for, for, for 2020, you know, maybe just somewhere, sometime in January. So, a lot of people are qualified anyway. Of course, it's not the only one that's doing well. Mm -hmm. We have to get the best selling customer that's doing fantastically well. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, on a month by month basis, you know, 
I, I know I punched him because you know sometimes you know you know, you know, you know when, when you're on top you just want to stay there. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just say no. one one ten or and that that two ten or you want to go again. You know, yeah. So like she's she's so, so, she's enjoying like, right now, but I have to do more. Yes, yes. Okay. The other benefit that actually come along uh, being awarded the customer of the month. For instance, we give you longer term loans. Mm -hmm. Our loans are often short term loans, you know, because they're working capital loans. So with your customer of the month, you enjoy lower rates. You understand, we enjoy consultancy services, we mm. feature you in the news, we do some social media campaigns for you. So a couple of other things. So you want to be there, you don't want to drop. Because if you drop, if your credit history drops, then your rate goes up. Then you, you, you start, you, you cease to benefit some of, uh, you know, enjoy some of the benefit that yeah. comes with customer of the month. Right. So it's not just the award, it, it goes beyond the award. All right, then, as we close down, because of time, uh, uh, to you, uh, Mr. Solagin, what's, what's your advice uh, and your final word to people who are actually listening right now. Okay, I would say that when you want to go into business, you need to separate you, the personality, from the business. You want it as a separate entity. That is one of the best advice that I got. And um, we decided to do it that way, and it has really helped us tremendously. So I would say that from the onset, decide that you are going to run your business the way it should be. It should be a business that is separate from the there is a separate entity from the owner of the business and then of course make sure that you keep all records, your books, um, pay your your taxes, your pay, <laughs> because those are things that can, disrupt, <laughs> yes, that can disrupt your business. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to say. That's why just make sure that every, your, your book is clean. Yeah. <laughs> just make sure the book is clean. So they, if they come check it, they will not see one. Ah, how can you know this is this an X? <laughs> that's a great one. Of course, now back to the CEO of, you know, of this great idea, Costa, talking about that customer, uh, customer of the month, and of course, he's also the CEO of Credit Pro. Now, looking at you know, this 2020, so what's, what's, what's the future uh, for, uh, for Credit Pro? Well, I think um, uh, there was a PwC report that I read, um, I think two, about two months ago, and it stated that there are about 614 billion Naira financing deficits for the SME sector in Nigeria. Oh. Well, you know, the funding mm -hmm. challenge is not only peculiar to Nigeria, for SMEs is all over the world. So for us, we want to bridge we want to reduce that gap. Yeah. If I can take ten percent, five percent of that gap, mm -hmm. then I would have been fulfilled as a Nigerian. I would wow. have contributed my quarter to you know, humanity. So in future, we are looking more for more investors. Of a lot of people are coming to us to partner with us, and it's been so good. And uh, I think we are more positioned to support SMEs. Furthermore, we are going digital. There are about seventeen million phones in Lagos. Uh, there was a report I read. You know, about seventeen million phones. So if the eyeballs are on the phone. So we have, we have come up with some, you know, fintech technologies that will be launched, you know, quarter one next year. There's one we call Loan 247 where you can actually get, you know, micro loans on your phone. Very flexible, different from what is currently in the market. Mm -hmm. There's another platform called Fund Up where, you know, a couple of people can actually lend to an SME. You need a 10 million naira, you know, we we'll profile you, we we'll do your risk assessment, put you on that platform with a couple of investors in Nigeria abroad can actually invest one million, two million to your business wow. and three, four, five, like in crowd lending, four or five people invest in your dream and we monitor and ensure that the loan doesn't grow back. So I think the future is technology. Yeah. Of course, we are looking at that direction and uh, we believe we are better positioned to help and support this sector for this We need to solve the problem. That's right. Thank you and so of course, as, as we close, you won't don't tell us how they can they reach uh, reach you again. How can they reach out uh, Credit Pro as we close? So the phone numbers. Yes. All right, okay, quickly, uh, the numbers, uh, if you are out there today right now and you want to be part of this, and like, man, I have to be part of this, or if you want to get more information from this, uh, because there are certain things that we're not able to say here because of time, you can actually call these numbers 0701-444-5475, and that's 0701-444-5475, and 0811-655-0865, and that's 0811-655-0865. All right, as we close, I want to say thank you for coming on this Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right, and of course, to the, to the, to the, to the big man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll so say good morning. And thank, you. thank you for coming. And that's a marvelous test show.
ID that they people come in. All right, of course, they're in the house and they're, they're, they're doing some, uh, you know, some YouTube cute. Uh, this, this will continue on the social media. I want to say thanks to Mr. Bibola, Abiola, and of course to Mr. Emmanuel. Thank, thank you very much. And of course, to you out there listening right now, I want to say thank you for joining us. Now, we'll go for a quick break and then we'll start the business platform. We'll be right back. Stay with us.